All right, guys. If Trump loses, and I do think he'll probably lose the election in November, do you want to know what my first thing to say? My, my, the thing I want to say directed at Trump, first thing, once it's found out he cannot become president? Put the, the fries in the bag, sir. Put the fries in the bag, sir. I would love to see Trump lose all of his money, lose the presidency, and be forced to work at McDonald's. That would be absolutely hysterical and an ideal scenario. And I would absolutely go to that McDonald's he works at and make him prepare me fries every single day. And I would eat every last one as well, um, without, a he without hesitation or a doubt. Now, uh, this is not an AI-generated image. This is real. This is Trump actually in a McDonald's in an apron serving up some fries. But there is also a side order of lies in this story because despite the framing, eh, the situation isn't quite as Trump just getting down with the working class as you might think. Uh, this was through and through a campaign stunt and well, let me bring up this video that explains it pretty well because God, Trump is really just completely shameless at this point. He really has no lines he's unwilling to cross anymore. From crypto scamming to, well, just watch. This almost makes me wonder if Trump did fake one or two of the assassination attempts on him, because good lord, uh, he really does have no shame. He totally would. I want to bring in NBC's Yamiche Alcindor, who is in Chester County, Pennsylvania, where the vice president was earlier today. Matthew Dowd was chief strategist for the Bush-Cheney campaign in 2004 and is an MSNBC senior political analyst. Megan Hayes is former special assistant to President Biden and director of message planning. She was deputy communications director for President Biden's 2020 campaign. Great to have all of you here. So look, Matthew, you've got all this money all this information you've collected on all of these voters. How do campaigns combine all of that and put them to work in these final days? Well, they, they have to decide first they have that strategic decision that identifying a swing voter or an undecided voter. Wait, do they side order of lies crowd Dowd reacts to Trump working at McDonald's. Does that news hit like as they're talking or something? I guess it hits as they're talking. With what? her is not the campaign. White House officials tell NBC. Now, to be fair, I'll, I'll, I'll give Trump one. I'll give Trump one thing. I'll give him one point. Trump is a loyal McDonald's customer. Um, Trump is a McDonald's cell who has like multiple times filled the table at the Oval Office with his administration, with Big Macs and McDonald's fries. And McDonald's is solid fast food. Don't get me wrong. It's overpriced, but it, it tastes good enough. It's scientifically designed by one of the most uh, uh, wealthy and well-funded and well-resourced companies in the world to be literally addictively good food um, using grease and salt. But that aside, let me tell you something. Do you know who our, our most based president ever was when it came to like fast food takes? Let me tell you who knew what the fuck was up. Obama. You know where he is. Obama knew what the fuck was up. Obama loved five guys. He knew what the fuck was up, dude. You can tell a lot about a man based on his taste in fast food. Obama knew what was up. Because, yeah, Five Guys is literally the top when it comes to fast food. I will hear no other arguments. You are literally, like, you're not a person if you have a different opinion than this. But Five Guys is five guys is so good, the only debate that can seriously be had is whether or not it's too good to qualify as fast food. Like, that, that is an argument I'll entertain. That maybe it doesn't even get to be on the list because it's so good, it might break out of fast food territory. And it is full-on dining territory. Like, it's, it, like, bro, Obama knew it was up. Trump, on the other hand, is a genuine through-and-through through McDonald's fan. I just thought I'd add this in here. You know, it's, it's somewhat relevant. I just want you all to know, Obama had a good palate when it came to fast food. There are no plans to campaign with him in these final 15 days. 
Do you think that's smart, especially considering Biden's close ties in a state like Pennsylvania? I think it's a strategic decision to get your surrogates to spread out and to fan out across the, all the battleground states. You know, the president's traveling to New Hampshire tomorrow to talk about uh, prescription drugs, the lowering of prescription drug costs, and then he's traveling to Arizona. So I think he is hitting strategic media markets and he but is are, talking. Are you suggesting that this is not a strategic decision for her not to stand with him? I don't necessarily think so. I don't. I mean, I, you haven't seen her stand with Obama either in the last couple of weeks, and I don't think that they're planning on campaigning together or with Michelle Obama. You know, this is an opportunity to hit a lot of media markets. Uh, she is very fortunate, unlike President Trump, to have a lot of people who are backing her and a lot of surrogates out on the trail for her. And I think that that's an important thing to get to cover media markets and to be out there as everyone. We're not here for Kamala's campaign. We're here for Trump's campaign stunt. Is this it? Is this where they talk claims about it? that she never worked at McDonald's. Uh, he patrolling uh, Kamala go. Harris with the right now is what's important. So I don't necessarily think they need to be standing by. Uh, MSNBC, I've actually noticed over time, has progressively gotten like lower and lower quality. A big uh, turn was when they started pivoting to appeal more to a conservative audience, which was very noticeable. I mean, you can notice it even here with how uh, low key aggressive towards Kamala Harris they're being. Um, but on top of that, their like video uploads have become misleading. Like I'll look up a story that's relevant to a specific topic, right? And then MSNBC will have a video clip that's about the topic. I'll be like, oh, cool. And I click it and it doesn't end up being about the topic until like two or three thirds of the way into the video. It's like, okay, so the last third of it is actually about the topic it's advertised as being about. Okay, MSNBC. Is that the level we're on now? Like literal false clickbait on YouTube? Though the conservatives will still call this outlet MSND, MSDNC or MSNPC. Yeah. Obviously, they're trying to appeal to conservatives is never going to be rewarded, right? Unless they bow down and swear fealty to Trump. That's all they'll accept. It's, I, I just don't think that that's a necessity at this point. And Matthew, I have to ask you about Donald Trump uh, trolling Kamala Harris with these baseless claims that she never worked at McDonald's. Uh, he put on an apron. He salted the fries um, and, uh, pardon the pun, peppered in the insults. Take a listen. It was a big part of her resume that she worked at McDonald's, how tough a job it was. Uh, she specifically worked at the French fry where they make the French fries. And she talked about the heat. It was so tough. She never worked at McDonald's. McDonald's just confirmed that again, by the way. She never worked at McDonald's. This isn't true, by the way. She did work at McDonald's, and McDonald's has not confirmed she didn't work there. In other words, she's lying Kamala. Um, a Harris spokesperson responded by saying, when Trump feels desperate, all he knows how to do is lie. He can't understand what it's like to have a summer job because he was handed millions on a silver platter only to blow it. On the other hand... Yeah. It's th this entire stunt was designed to make Trump look uh, appealing to the working class because, once again, he is, you know, born into millions, right? He, he was born into wealth. He's never experienced what it's like to worry about making ends meet in his entire life. So that is a pretty relevant attack point for Kamala. So in response to that, this seems to have been an older clip because we found out today that the Trump McDonald's salt fry salting was staged they shut down the whole mcdonald's uh and we only found this out because people local to that mcdonald's went there and took photos and video they shut down the mcdonald's a week beforehand putting a sign up warning local residents the mcdonald's would be closed on that day and not to go there they bust in trump supporters to go through uh, and order the like the things they wanted and to be super hyped and excited about Trump being there. They specifically are paying the McDonald's employees to stand there and smile while Trump does that. And it was literally just a fully staged like photo op where like a McDonald's franchise owner in Pennsylvania was paid off to stage him working at McDonald's. Jesus Christ. Like, actually ridiculous. That is the level of shamelessness he's on. And meanwhile, I don't know if you guys know about this, because I don't know how many of you guys were here for that segment before, and obviously if this goes out as a video, I don't know, like, which video will come out first, or if everyone who's seen this has seen the uh, 
the other one I did. But um, Trump is currently under fire because he is associated with and endorsing a crypto scam, not even a rug pull crypto scam, even more shameless. He's attempting fraud. And it's CoffeeZilla made a really good video on it. We did some coverage of that. Very good stuff. But like my point is that Trump has gotten so shameless with these stunts now. Do you think that even he knows that he can't win this election? Because who would know better, like, what the chances of their victory or loss are than Trump and Kamala themselves? Kamala seems optimistic, like genuinely internally optimistic, like internal polling and internal data that she has access to is suggesting that she is projected to win. And Trump is acting like he is going to lose if he does not get his shit together before Election Day, like pulling out all the stops no matter how shameless and blatantly fucked they are, because we're so close to the election, he just hopes the consequences don't catch up to him in a month, right? Man, we're so close to election day. It's not even a month. It's it's well under a month. It's weeks now. Yeah, all Trump can do is try to steal the election, take as much money as he can through scamming, and uh, trick as many people through, like, dishonesty, lies, and, like, skeevy staged events as possible. Well, Trump is never banking on winning. He runs for president like he plays golf. He goes in with a plan to cheat. That's true. That is true. I don't think Trump ever really intended to win fair and square. But, like, I also think Trump's ego internally can't accept that he's a loser, right? Like, Trump's ego cannot internally allow him to accept that he lost the election. I think Trump, in a self-deluding kind of way, believes that the election was stolen. He is so he's such a narcissist and has such an ego. There's no way that like his internal monologue is him saying, oh, I know I lost the election. I need to lie about it. Even if he's wrong and is lying, I don't actually believe he's knowingly lying. I think he's enough of a narcissist that he's tricked himself into thinking long ago. The only scenario where he loses the election is if it's stolen. I think that's realistically how he thinks. I'm sure he thinks he won all those golf games where he changes the numbers on his scorecard. Exactly, Winters, in that same exact way, where yes, he's cheating, but at the same time, he thinks he has to cheat because that's the only way to get a fair win, right? Like, it's not right. It's just his little demented worldview, his line of logic that's just self-serving. Like, he's a special boy that is allowed to break the rules because all of his circumstances are special because he's the main character and no one is like him. Actually, he knows full well he lost. Pence confirmed it. No, you guys get what I, I, I'm not even going to elaborate further. I think if you get what I mean, then you understand what I mean. But if you don't, then you'll understand when you're older, I guess. <clears throat> Xander Hall, the McDonald's being shut down shows that Trump could never actually handle working at a McDonald's. I know for a fact that I could make fries faster than he could. And even I'm not one of the fastest fry makers at the McDonald's I work at. You know what's so funny about it as well is that Trump in, in real time had to stop himself from talking down fry cooks where he said she complains about the heat and how hard it was. You can tell from the way he's saying it, he is about to argue, it's not that hard. Look, I just did it and it's easy. He almost said that as his go-to line of attack on Kamala, but then realized, wait, 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 we're supposed to make it seem like I'm getting the working class experience. I can't talk down to my voters. And he stops himself. But you noticed it too, right? In that video? Anyway. Hopefully, Trump will actually have to work at McDonald's in the uh, coming months after he loses the election. Let's fucking hope. And let's make it happen. Make sure you're registered to vote. Make sure you vote. And vote blue no matter who. Down ballot, guys. I'm, I'm serious about this shit. I'm serious. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this segment, found it enjoyable, entertaining, or even educational, then please consider dropping a like. Every single thumbs up forces YouTube to push my content and the algorithm out to a wider and larger audience, and specifically and largely helps my content to grow quite fast, so I really do appreciate it. You can also uh, follow my social medias, linked down below in the description, to see more stuff from me on other platforms. And if you want to join my fan discord, which is the main hub of my community and fan base, and it's totally free to join, link in the description. 
I, I host weekly game events, call-in streams, or watch parties there. And on top of that, I announce all my new uploads and streams there. So even if YouTube bugs out, at least you know that my uh, Discord will not. And uh, finally, if you want to support me directly, help me keep the lights on the roof above my head here at the Xander Hall studio, then consider donating, subscribing, or gifting a sub on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, uh, or supporting me through YouTube, Twitch, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, Patreon, or... Uh, buying merch the stream labs link down below but regardless of how you support me even if you're just uh, lurking around and watching the stream without saying anything thank you so so much i hope to see you again and have a good one